Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, I got some exciting news for Sony PlayStation fans out there, and it pertains to the PlayStation 5. Now, this is coming directly from Sony Interactive Entertainment, and they give us a hint of what to expect on the PlayStation 5 in their latest job listing. Now, they are looking for a senior cloud engineering manager, and the location is in San Francisco. Now, like usual, I will leave a link in the description down below so you can check out the job listing for yourself. Now, they go on to say that PlayStation is growing rapidly, and needs your help to build a next generation cloud infrastructure and build awesome tools for our team. In this position, you will be part of a top-notch engineering team focused on delivering our container orchestrated solution to the organization. You will be managing distributed systems that are powering 100 plus million PS4 consoles that deliver immersive gaming experiences. You will also be one of the leaders on the Elite team that is super excited to launch the upcoming world's fastest console, the PlayStation 5, in 2020. You will love working at PlayStation if you have a strong passion for our systems, availability, and resilience. Now this is a bombshell. Sony is saying that the PlayStation 5 will be the world's fastest console. Now I found it interesting their choice of words. They could have went out and said that the PlayStation 5 will be the world's most powerful console to contradict what Microsoft has said about the Xbox Scarlet, but instead they used the world's fastest console. Now this could pertain to the SSD drives that they have inside the PlayStation 5. Sony has been been touting that these solid state drives are going to be so fast, generations better than what we've had in previous consoles, that it will virtually eliminate all of the load screens. Now this is what they could mean by the world's fastest console, or perhaps they're talking about the CPU. I guess we'll find out for sure when we know the full specifications of both the Xbox Scarlet and the Sony PlayStation 5. Now they also talked about their cloud infrastructure. Now a lot of people are under the impression that Sony will not be releasing their first party exclusives on the cloud service day and date, and I differ from these opinions. With Google Stadia having their exclusives and third-party content day and date on their cloud service, and Microsoft when they launch their cloud service later next year having their exclusives day and date on the service, why would Sony allow these companies to have full market share and not put their hat into the race? It simply just doesn't make sense from a business standpoint, especially seeing that Sony went to Microsoft to use their Azure servers. Now this job listing lets you know that Sony is very serious about cloud gaming for the next generation. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that the PlayStation 5 will be the world's fastest console? As well, do you think Sony will have day and date exclusives on their PlayStation Now service? Please leave your comments in the section down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.